Ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that came out in Business Insider. Today, January 31st, 2019, U.S. military suicide rates for active duty troops near record highs in 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, as I stated to you before, and you will see in many of my videos, when it comes down to running businesses and your military and on many social levels, America does very poorly. It always has. Suicides in the military were not first reported until 2012. So it was a whole bunch of suicides prior to that that never got recorded at all. So now they're seeing between 2012 and 2018. Now there's a troubling trend going on in the military with all of these suicides. And not to mention they're lowballing and undercounting numbers just like they do when it comes down to the opioid plague and all of these other things that are going on. You know, America loves lowballing numbers. The U.S. military finished 2018 with a troubling and sad statistic. It experienced the highest number of suicides among active duty personnel in at least six years. Now, I thought America said they respect their troops. Okay, they care about their troops. No, you only care about your troops when you're talking to black people. But when reality really reveals itself, you don't care about these troops at all. Because if you did, it wouldn't be so many homeless troops on the street. There's a lot of vets that are homeless on the streets and you can see them all over the place. Number two, you would have, you would be trying to seek help for all of these suicidal active duty members in the military that you have, but yet the number goes up every year. This is just the signs of the times, ladies and gentlemen. We see suicides going through the roof among civilians. And as you can see, it's going through the roof in the military. You have all of the opioid deaths that are going on. It's so much, it's so much death and destruction going on right now in America. It's not even funny. And I showed you the chart of all of the mass shootings in America. I'm sure it has gone up since I showed you that chart. It's ridiculous with the amount of killing that's going and you claim to be an advanced country, but you can't do anything about all of the killing and suicides and drug overdoses and it's all just out of control. I think 30 mass shootings, we may be over that number. Who knows what will happen today? But it's amazing how all of this stuff, ladies and gentlemen, gets buried. All of it gets buried. When's the last time you heard about all of the suicides going on in the military and mainstream news? They won't touch this. See, they're still trying to play all kinds of trickeries with everybody and making us believe that everything is just peachy in America when you can clearly see it's not. Everything is falling apart in America. Not only can't you get many people into the military, recruiting is down, People are not running to the military like they used to. And those people that are in there, some of them are so unhinged, they really don't belong in the military at all. And 
As you can see, many of them are suicidal. So now um, the Army did not report their last quarter numbers for 2018 for suicides. So any numbers that you hear about the Army will be an undercount. So there were a total of 286 active duty members that took their lives during the year of 2018, 57 Marines, 68 sailors, 58 airmen, and through October, because that's the, you know, that's the only count they have for the military is just up to October 1st, 103 Army soldiers. I mean, up to October 1st for the Army, because they did not report anything else after October 1st. So that number is more than likely lowballed. So the deaths equal the total number of active duty personnel who died from suicide in 2017. With the Army's fourth quarter data, uh, could reach a record 321 suicides recorded in 2012. Suicides continue to present a challenge to the Pentagon and the military services, which have instituted numerous programs to save lives, raise awareness, and promote prevention. Now, obviously, it's not working if the suicides are going through the roof. So I'm going to go down a little bit in this article. Okay, here we go. I want you to see this. The rates for the individual services that year were 19.4 per 100,000 based on 61 deaths by suicide for the Air Force, 26.7 per 100,000 based on 127 deaths for the Army, 15.3 per 100,000 based on 50 deaths for the Navy, and 21 per 100,000 based on 37 deaths for the Marines. According to the Navy, the adjusted rate of suicide in the civilian population for men of the same age as those who serve in the armed forces is 26.8 per 100,000. So those numbers are high. You know, when you think about, you know, the, the service is voluntary, but apparently there's a lot of people that are miserable in the armed forces for America. And that really looks bad. It looks bad when you have this amount of suicides. It looks bad. It looks bad when you have a high amount of suicides in the civilian population too. And we already know that's high. That's been high for decades. So each branch is saying they got programs in place for these suicides. But there is something to be said, ladies and gentlemen, when you have a record-breaking suicide rate in 2018. Now, I've heard of many, many things, even from my own family members, about racism in the um, armed forces. And there's a lot of rapes going on. It, it's very corrupt from top all the way down to the bottom. And if you remember, I believe it was one woman that went to social media to blast all of the people that were under her. I know some of y'all remember this. I mean, that's a disgrace to do some mess like that. But you can see the U.S. military has not ran any better than a typical institution in America. 
you know, I was looking at um, about a week ago, all of the suicides that go on inside of prisons. And even that is off the charts in this country. So no matter how you look at it, you got high suicides among the police. And I did a story on that last year. And I mean, how many of these stories are going to keep coming out? I mean, just tell me in the comment section, does it look like America run things well, including its military, when you see stuff like this? Of the civilian jobs, the highest suicides are among cops, the police officers committing suicide. And that just go to show you how mentally unbalanced many of these people really are but they're all around us each and every day. Please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. I'll see you on the next video. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is just another sign of America not taking care of their active troops or their veterans. Peace, family.